the disease. With Wilson Combat 10 round magazine, I got two different hollow points. Back off! Back off! So I got nine rounds. I think I got, I think I got, what, three standard pressure and then six plus P's. Ball first and then hollow points. Hey man. Just let's, I'm gonna get out of here, I'm sorry. Buy a beer, pick up! Whoa! Perfect function, uh, but the, the plus P hollow points were pretty spicy. Hey guys, got something very interesting from ATI. An awesome, hopefully, budget blaster. Ziff a 1911 and a Glock had a baby. Because it's 1911 design uh, with a Palmer grip module with finger grooves, okay, and Glock style sights. Though I'll probably switch them out, which is a great thing about Glock sights. So many options. I'll probably eventually switch it out for some excess um, black serrated rear with a braid orange front night sight. Uh, it's also railed, so for a budget, I think this retails MSRP for only 450. Uh, so once we get it running good, this is a great budget option. It is also optics cut. There's two different plates uh, for optics. Only 32 and a half ounces, I believe. For a 5-inch full-size 1911, 5-inch ballistics, that's great. So you got the FXH45 Moxie. Okay, so look at my full unboxing of that. To try and break it in, I got different mags. I got uh, a couple of the mags that ATI sent. I believe it only comes with one. Uh, not positive about that. Uh, so we got brass for our first four mags. And if it does okay with that, might need a longer break. And we'll see if we can go to some uh, to a steel case. But this is the ATI mag. Uh, this is an old um, uh, shooting star mag which are pretty darn good mags. 10 round Wilson compact magazine, eight round act mag, and then an eight round of 47D Wilson combat, but this has got steel case if we get to it. And then another ATI mag with a steel case. So we'll see how she does. Uh, just basic shooting uh, to start with guys, cause I got a broken thumb and a messed up finger. So if accuracy isn't there, it's me, not the gun today. Well, we will do a second range visit. All right, guys, first shots with the ATI FXH45 Moxie Hybrid Pistol, full-size 45, 1911 chambered fine from their magazine. Nice finger grooves, lightweight, 32 and a half ounces, so you could actually carry this for a five inch 1911 style pistol. Let's just go for the center. I jerked it, that's me. Got a broken thumb right now, guys, so. And locked back with their mag. So far, so good. All right, first five function great. Let's go five from the shooting star mag now. Let's go for headshots. And, uh, guys, my accuracy is very bad today because of bad broken thumb right where I need to put some pressure. Uh, I'm going to do these without riding the safety this time. Hold a little left. That center. 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 And lock back. Perfect functioning with this magazine as well. 10 rounds for 10, two different magazines, lock back, that's a good start. What's great about the Moxie is not only this budget price point for a 1911 that's actually light enough to carry, but it's got a rail, so for home defense, this could also work out really good. I got a 10 round Wilson Combat magazine, so if it functions good with that, you got eight plus one or 10 plus one, you know, for home defense, 11 rounds of 45 will get her done usually. Uh, easy to swap out Glock sights, so gonna put this access uh, the new cheaper sight with the black serrated rear, but the nice freight orange uh, that looks like the same as the R3D for a nice bright front orange. 
Uh, this should work out really, really good for my certain age eyes and Aluma grips. You can personalize the sights and the grips on everything as well because it's basically a uh, Palmer Frame 1911. All right, I got four rounds loaded up in the Wilson Combat Magazine 10 rounder. Let's see how that does. There we go, 4A zone, one just cutting the sling. Uh, so, unlock back again. Three mags for three, all different magazines. Another great thing about a 1911 style platform. All right, let's try a Nickel Act magazine now. Here we go, it's the first time we had a little bobble on uh, the load, it didn't drop on the slide. Here we go. I dropped the last shot a little low on the double tap, but that wasn't bad. Sorry for the angled skew there, guys. So, guys, all in there, those are all touching upper thoracic A zone. That was earlier uh, from the Wilson, and I did double tap one. I dropped one low right there. My thumb's badly, badly broken, so not the best accuracy for me, but the pistol's been good so far. Guys, so far I'm really enjoying the Moxie. It's worked with all magazines. Uh, I just dropped it with steel case from a Wilson 47D. Uh, dropping the slide release, it loaded no problem. The, the finger grooves feel really good in my hand. I'm just obviously jacked up right now. Uh, so let's see if it uh, functions good with steel case. Guys, so far I'm loving the Moxie. Day two, we're gonna rock and roll like I always do, multiple targets, fast, all that. Today was a function test, and I'm on my six magazine, and we're on cheap Tula steel case, and it's functioned great so far. Uh, I just used one of their other magazines that they sent me, uh, so an um, ATI magazine. Dropped it fine, uh, slide stop on the steel case. So I got two targets. As I was saying, I got two targets, I switched to the other side. And today, guys, I'm just working from a relentless tactical generic leather holster, which fits like everything. So uh, I'm glad I have that. Because it is railed, I don't have a railed, and the trigger guard's a bit different and enlarged for gloved hands. Uh, this is a great lightweight. People are blasphemy, blasphemy. No, it it's combines two of the most popular pistols ever, and it's actually light enough to carry at 32 ounces versus 40 ounces, which really, isn't uh, and it's working great so far with all different magazines brass and steel case so here we go hey i don't want any trouble i don't want any trouble guys and their magazines slide right out lock back every time perfect and it looks like i got down bad guys let's check all right so all a zones from earlier Except one on the double tap, I dropped it just a little low, but that's still a good upper thoracic uh, hit, guys. And then all center line, two very good. I think the box is a little high, uh, and one right there breaking the line. So three A zone, and one just a tiny bit low on my hottie bad girl right here. So the Moxie's been really great. Perfect functioning, slide lock back, everything. Uh, I can't wait to really rock and roll. Uh, on the, the um, second go around guys we always do fast stuff like you saw just there it's a good looking pistol it actually feels great in the hand the weight is very nice uh, Glock sights something I could carry with 5 inch ballistics and 45 that's really pretty important with a lot of ho hollow points um, and so empty fire I just I'm impressed so far so day two we're going to keep on rocking so stay tuned Keep on rocking. We'll do hollow point function test at the end, probably, and all that kind of good stuff. Off camera, did more. Ten different magazines. I broke out four different magazines on top. Ten magazines, perfect function, locked back with 20 rounds of brass and 35 rounds of steel case on day one with the Moxie. So, I mean, for a budget price, 1911-style pistol or 1911 Glockish hybrid optics ready pistol especially for the money 
I mean, steel case and 10 different mags, that's a great break-in for a 1911-style pistol. On All right, guys, second day at the range with the FXH45 by ATI. And look at these Aluma grips. Look at these Aluma grips I got put on. He made special Dan Wolfman grips for me. I got some arachnid grips on top of the slide to help rack the slide. I got an accelerator cut American flag. Those are also from uh, arachnid grips. So I would definitely suggest getting those because just having that on all your pistols will surely help your recoil control. Got a 10 round McGar magazine, so it looks all badass. Now, unfortunately, the guy who does my sights for me isn't here at the range today, so I have not yet, but I'll have to wait to get the access sights. The minimalist black serrated wear with a nice, bright, convex, it's my favorite sight, a bright front orange. Uh, the minimalist or the R3D sights, I think that front orange is the best. So, what's great about this pistol is you can personalize it. All right, here was Slick 50 on his 77th birthday. Let's get at it. Hey, uh, Slick 50, 50 year cop veteran he's got the fxh 45 from ati 1911 guy he's been in a shootout with the 1911 for at a pizza hut five yards to see if i can motion beat this back uh, swinging a little bit that's all right the disease shot him in the mouth pretty good yeah. Your disease. I'm the cure. Shot him in the nose. A little low. That was six shots. I got two more. Let's see if I can double tap the head. Oh, dude, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble, man. And still a little low for me, so I got to bring it up. All right, guys, turn that guy's four and seven yards. I think I dropped the second shot low, two in the A box on the first guy. Shooting this just a little bit low, uh, and that's probably the sights until I get them swapped out. And, yeah, I dropped that second shot low. One was right on his spine, upper thoracic, and one was just below his left lung. So I kind of threw that last shot a bit. But two, dead center A zone on that guy. All right, let's do that sucker again. And I was slow getting the uh, shots off on the next guy, but those are all linear, upper thoracic. I got them a little higher. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, and I got two A zone uh, on the uh, other baddie on the left, so not bad. All right, guys, time for a hollow point function test with Wilson Combat 10 round magazine. I got two different hollow points. Basically, randomly in here, two different profiles uh, to see if, if now it can the hollow points or not. No, they got about 75, 80 rounds to it, something like that. Back off! Back off! Back off! with two different types of hollow points. Okay, so I'm really happy about the hollow point function test so far. Everything here is on the line, A zone, except that one right in his throat, and two right there in the T box. So, ATI, Moxie, I got some Moxie, and you don't want to mess with the 45. All right, guys, FXH 45 has been flawless in, I don't know, 80, 100 rounds, something around there, including steel clays, including three different kinds of hollow points, including plus P ball, plus P hollow points. Uh, let's see if I can save the cheerleader, save the world. It got really hot in here. Hey, dude, let her go, man. Let her go. Drop it. Let her go, man. We can talk about it. Let her go. Let her go, man. Drop it. Not my, not my best, but I saved the cheerleader. I saved the world. One, two, three, that's about as perfect in the T-Box as you can get. These two I'm not happy about, but it's better to be air on the side of caution with a hostage than shoot your uh, wife in the face or whatever. So, anyway, guys, the ATI Moxie FXH45 
flawless. Flawless with ball, steel, 10 different magazines, three different types of hollow point profiles, plus P-Ball, and one of those hollow points was boutique, really spicy. You saw one of them, hot, 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 uh, plus P, uh, hollow point, 230 grain. Uh, so everything I showed was 230 grain. Give the Moxie a thumbs up. Uh, I put the grip on here because I'm not putting a dot, but maybe in the future I'll get the, uh, put a 507 or something on there. And I like it. I think it looks awesome. My Luma grip's now personalized with the Wolves there. I think it looks great. 10 round magazine. Got the Arachnid grip. Soon I will get the access. Um, the front orange night sight on there and a plain black serrated rear. Uh, but it points very naturally. The grooves, it feels good in the hand. And overall, I think you can't go wrong for the money. It's been that reliable. So I'm happy with it. Anyway, guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get in the comments. Let me know, have you shot an ATI recently? What do you think? Please watch my unboxing video, and I'll catch you on the flip side.